All right, welcome to Ali Yuck to S. This is tutorial 28. Um, didn't really know exactly what to title this one, um, but what I want to really uh, so take a look at here is um, essentially a continuation of, of what happened last turn and then how to um, sort of utilize what we did last turn to basically save the African force down here. Um, so if you didn't just watch tutorial 27, you might remember that we had a more or less a failed invasion of, of uh, Numidia over here. And we kind of retreated to Africa, took this town, and um, they had a very small force. Um, I think this, which one is it? It might be this one or 285. Oh, okay, so this is the force that was there. And then um, I had sent a large fleet from uh, Genoa, if I'm not mistaken, yeah down here and um, there was a battle we had a battle before they arrived I do want to show you that battle um, it happened on day 13 and um, we lost um, but both sides lost you know quite high casualty ratio of course our actual ratio is higher because our total force available is um, significantly smaller than the the Popeans. Um, now, what happened was that they did not retreat. So we did um, we lost the battle, but um, we're still in. We still have a, a level two trenches. Level two trenches here. Um, level two entrenchment. Um, but the, 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 the our fleet was on the way. Now. The, this is actually the first time I've seen this, but <laughs> we had we just took massive losses here. Um, lots and lots of these uh, Hellenistic well, light warships and heavy ships disappeared, and then yeah, I mean we just we lost you know huge amounts there. Um, but we arrived on day 26, so you can, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. You just going through the message box, um, and you can kind of read and, and see what's happened. Remember, you can also click on the uh, replay previous turn if you wanted to go back and, and see that again, um, which I've shown you, shown, already shown you that in, in previous tutorials. So what happens is this. So we now have four tabs here, and I just want us to kind of think about what each one is. Here's the original force. It's a level two. Um, entrenchment. Of course, the fleet has arrived. You can also take a look and see that um, the actual fleet is, is significantly damaged. Um, and you can, obviously, the red is bad, um, as well as the cohesion is very low. And of course, I talked about cohesion in the previous tutorial. You can go back and take a look at that. But let's just, you know, basically say, okay, the gut, our men on board are, are, are tired and not, not in the best shape. So what, the, the fleet is still there, but it's substantially smaller than it was. Okay, so we have the um, the, the force that lost. That's um, and you can see that they have taken uh, some pretty big casualties too. You see a lot of red there. We also had um, some so basically an urban militia that were, were mustered, um, and we have the force that arrived in not the best shape, but. Um, they took them well. <laughs> we, it looks like we, basically we lost men overboard. I mean, is, is what has happened, and and they're tired. We do have this these guys here. They're not two of their phalanx um, units. They're in, in good cohesion. One is is a bit tired, and their auxiliaries are also in good cohesion. So you can kind of just do the rough math and 172. Okay, so they're, they're at about power of 300. Um, so what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to, I'm going to merge these. And I, we looked at merging before, um, and now we do have a penalty bonus. So I wonder. Let's um, let's see what the penalty loss is. Um, so we would need to get rid of six. Can we do that? Um, so let's kind of get rid of these two units. Um, and now, oops, let's put them back in. Yeah. Okay. So now we have a twenty percent. Okay. So let's find the weakest legion. Seventy. So the seventy just tells you 
the power, you can see that. Um, okay, so they're in the city. I'm gonna put them on green, green, so they can just completely, completely rest. And now we have, um, yeah, we have these guys here. Um, general four, two, three, so he's not our best general anymore, but we need him to command. Is he active? He is active. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put him on offense, conservative attack. Okay, so, um, yeah, okay, okay. so I, what I'm trying to say is, it's like, okay, let's think about the best way to look at this, take a force here and attack. And um, at the same time, these guys will be recovering, so we're not really losing a lot of power and it gives at least part of the force a, a chance to rest and then if they don't leave this time or we can kind of you know swap them um you know swap them back in um yeah so kind of just like maybe bringing things full circle the fleet comes in taking heavy casualties they drop off the men in the city and now i'm taking those men or what's left of them and combining with the force and um attempting to attack the force here so there's a lot going on it's you know kind of like you go from point to point yeah i mean is it complex I, well i don't know maybe but it's the kind of stuff that you're probably going to think about if you get in a similar situation where you don't want to lose the lose your whole force in africa and i kind of like being down there i want to see you know what's going on and want a better opportunity um you know, comes along, then yeah, we'll we'll try to take advantage on there. A couple other points I want to talk about. One is we've had a big um, we actually owe money. Um, so yeah, <laughs> we uh, we 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 spent it all on re replacements and um, so we're, we're gonna lose. We're gonna only have one ten left. We're gonna we're gonna be actually in the, in the negative here. So there's really nothing else we can do. Um. But what I am doing, well, I guess there's, I guess what I should say is there is something we can do. I'm going to sell, uh, sell, pri um, sell prisoners, and that'll give us 200 denarii, and that'll kind of balance out what's going to be that, what's that, that projective deficit is there. Um, the other thing I will say is we had used, we had a bunch of um, engagement points, and I went through and used about 90 this turn, all kinds of things, building roads, certain places, doing. Um, certain reforms and Roman or vergatism, I guess I see you say that. Um, just kind of, you know, plopping them around. So you can see them, you can see that there'll be, so here we're gonna do public works and um, or I promote I think, urban development. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as I can tell, you, can get, you know, you get the engagement points to spend. So I wanted to, and I wanted to use some of these uh, social reforms and decisions that haven't really used a lot. Um, other than that, a bit of a stalemate here in, in Rome or Italia, and as well as in Sicilia, and um, Caesar's force, which is just ridiculously exhausted, will be now um, resting. So um, with that, uh, let's let's run the turn, and uh, probably the, the big question will be, of course, what happens in uh, Numidia down there. Um, I yeah, I do have uh, the force out west in Gaul um, on on the attack. Oh, one other point. Um, this is with the brand new 1.01 official patch. So um, that uh, that came out, and because our, so our guy attacks right away, we're assaulting, and we lost 5,000, 6,000. We did lose. Um, it'll be interesting to see if that's a national morale loss. I don't. I'm not super worried about it. Hopefully they were able to at least um, stay um, because now we have the opposite situation where we have more men and it looks like they are staying. But we have more men than they do, but their loss is you know, about the same. Oh, so there's going to be another round here. And this one is a victory that they lost nine of their infantry units. We lost eight. Okay, so we've pushed them out. So, I mean, that was... I think all things you know considered is about as successful as um, as we could have hoped for. The big, I think, the next question is um, for me at least, you know, down there in Numidia is okay. Those guys are just absolutely exhausted, huge losses. Is there going to be enough time to recover? And the Pompeians are 
moving south. So we'll probably have to leave Rome next time um, and try to, to follow them down. And because and, these two forces combine, we will lose basically Sicilia. Of course, now it's um. Wow, that's a big, mostly equities. That's interesting. Um, yeah, let's just take a look at these battles. So that was a negative one loss, that, that first one. Um, and then the second one, uh, we won, and they've been pushed out. So, yeah. OK, so one thing I want to kind of like Another sort of point on this is, you know, this is the force that was um, that was resting. So you can see here that the cohesion is back to 82 to 82. In other words, the most it can be in this context. Of course, the losses are still the same. So remember, there's a distinction between man man loss and actual their cohesion. Um, yeah, so cohesion is good on these guys too, mostly. So I hope that um, we can be able to. The size four city. I think they can get replacements there. I might have to research that and see if that is um, see if that's a possibility. Caesar's forces are rested. So this is a good point to maybe mention another thing. Like you know, this with the power here went from 800 to 2,875. So you you give them a month to rest. That can um, definitely mean mean the dif the difference. So. Um, yeah, okay, well, um, yeah, this has been uh, the next tutorial, 28, can't remember the number now, and uh, yeah, see you next time.